We're now in what uh, I would say is the polish phase of this animation, and I've sped up the video a little bit here. Uh, but some of the things I'm focusing on, you can see right now we're looking at the graph editor. But the things that I'm focusing on are um, kind of making sure that all the little things uh, are starting to feel better or, or feel right compared to the big picture where we were in our last step. And the first thing that I'll do typically is uh, look at the center of mass or center of gravity. And in this character, um, it's a control that's pretty much kind of her hips. And what you want to do is, you, with almost every animation really, is you want to start with the hips or the center of mass and make sure that that animation is fluid and smooth and working right in reality or, or in relationship to, uh, to say, real world physics. Um, because everything else branches off of that. If your center of mass isn't working, well, the whole animation is garbage. And it's pretty easy to see that. And, and it's very easy to get confused as to wonder, you know, why is this not working until you finally go back and you look at the center of mass and you're like, ah, well, I've got an issue here. So I'm doing a lot of work with a graph editor, taking a look at some of the curves. I can see that uh, eh, they just don't feel right or they don't look right or it should overshoot this way or you know whatever. Um, and a lot of cases I can embellish things too with a graph editor. But um, here in this particular case is kind of a big picture. I'm really concentrating on that um, where she launches off the ground and does that 360 spin in the air. And I wanna make sure that that anim animation feels fluid because while well, she's a female character, so I want her to be strong, but I also want her to be graceful, you know, and feminine. So I want this to be a very smooth, uh, fluid uh, spin. So once I finish the animation in that respect here uh, with this spin, I'll go back through every part of the animation and really fine to tune everything. Um, I'm looking so far as to even the bend in the fingers. Um, she starts with her fingers kind of open and kind of splayed, and then she curls them up into a fist as she uh, crouches, you know, and then what, what happens after that? So that kind of thing I'll look at. Uh, this rig has some kind of shoulder plates and wrist plates that might show some penetration um, just because of the way I've rotated uh, certain parts of the geometry. So I'll have to go back and make sure um, that those plates are where they should be. And then just kind of overall going through, and uh, I used to have an instructor that told me I needed to butter the curves, uh, referring to the graph editor, and making sure that the areas that needed to be smooth were smooth. So from here, then it's a little bit about lighting. Uh, I wanted to throw just a little bit of kind of special effect materials in here, and um, then pretty much let's render it out. So. Here, let's go ahead and take a look at the finished shot. Once I felt I was done polishing the animation, uh, the next thing I want to do is move on to lights. And I've got a pretty simple lighting system going on here. Uh, I've got just a direct light here that is providing my shadow. I've also colored the light to give it a little bit more of a, a blue glow. And you can watch this uh, panel right here if you want to see um, when I turn off the light, that's the kind of effect that it's providing. So beyond this direct light here, I've got um, three spotlights. I've got a key, I've got a fill light, and a backlight, and they're kind of providing uh, the basic three-point lighting. Um, none of them are producing shadows. I just wanted my direct light to do that. But the key light is a little bit stronger than the backlight, and if I turn that on and off, you can kind of see that uh, most of the light is, is coming from that direction. Uh, again, you know, fill light is just there to kind of fill in some shadows. And then the backlight, which really, uh, and with that being as small as it is, it's kind of hard to tell. It's really just going to help uh, show some of the um, some of the specular highlights and really kind of separate her from the background. And once I felt pretty good about that, I wanted to put in um, just kind of one little maybe special effect. And you can see that here uh, as she was blasting off, you'll see the geometry, this black ring here. And really all that is is a torus uh, or a donut piece of geometry that I've applied some special effect material to. 
Uh, and I've just got that Taurus expanding as she kind of lifts off and then it disappears. And uh, if I bring up here the uh, F check, if this is a nice way I can kind of see the, the rendered animation image sequence. So you can see that Taurus here in slow motion. And it's only there for a little bit, just to kind of emphasize her takeoff. And you can kind of see here now that that, uh, that spin that I worked uh, quite a while on is pretty darn smooth. Uh, certainly much, much smoother than it was in the breakdown phase. So where do I want to go from here? Uh, from here, I want to take this idea and apply it to probably two more. I want to kind of do a series of these kinds of animation, uh, maybe with two other different characters. Each one would be different because they're different characters, uh, each one showing uh, the individual personality. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this uh, series here. And if you ever have any questions or comments or criticism, uh, feel free to send them my way. I do have pretty thick skin, so I can take a beating. But uh, I do plan on continuing to put out videos as I uh, create more shots. And uh, we'll talk to you then.